What are you on about health and safety? You have no right to send anyone into my premises. I know nothing about that, but I'll tell you one thing, Boyer. My business is my business, and no one won't tell me what to do. I don't know how many I've employed. What business is with yours anyway? Look, I'm going now. Here, take your wages there. But what uh, I pay it all is a mystery to me. A shower of useless layabouts. <laughs> oh, and hang up them chairs as well. So sick of the way he talks to us. He made that new girl cry last week to call her names. Did you get the full amount? He left me short 20 euros last week. Yeah, heard you worked my wild off the gym, love. He is some skin flip, boy. <laughs> no wonder they call him Frecky Fiver. Should five your honor is it legal? And he's not even paying tax for us, I said. I know he says he's deducting it, but. Sure, he never even asked my PPS number when I got the job, so how could he pay a tax? Oh God, I'm impressed. I have been making chips since 8 o'clock this morning. He kept saying, you can have a break when he gets quiet. Sure, that's never happened. James, boy, what's your story, James? There's spatters in the chip that I see I'm supposed to be wearing gloves or something. But I asked Frank, he just did. But I wanted to see cards working for me, and that's what I had for it. He's like your man screwed. Remember when we were in school and we were doing business in LCDP? Wasn't there something in that about decent work and how employers out there just treat you anyway they like? I think I was out that day. But sure, that's for big employers, like the government. It's not for miserable shippers like here. I don't know. I wasn't paying much attention. I think there's something in it about minimum wage and anyone who employs someone is supposed to pay it. Here, let's look it up. Oh, I oh yeah. And what are you going to do? Just breeze up to the most miserly man in Ireland and say, it says here, you must pay us better. Ha, treat me lucky to mouth without a chatter. He's right then. Frankie never let us join the youth. So there's no jobs around here. You get someone else to do it, no bother. And then where would we be? <laughs> no, let's look at this. It is your legal and constitutional right to join a union. Frankie never told us about that. What? There is a very simple reason for continued rights in trade union memberships. People in unions are better off. They are better off financially by virtue of enjoying better rates of pay. Well, it only has to be higher from what we get here. <laughs> this fact was most recently confirmed by the CSO's National Employment Survey 2006, which shows unionised workers consistently enjoy higher pay than those in non-union workplaces. Also, enjoying better working conditions with indiv individual unions frequently negotiating entitlements for members that are over and above the statutory legal minimum. Better working conditions than this? Try never never right, boy. That's it lads, I'm joining a union. You can't stop us if we all do it, especially if it's breaking the law.